isn't that a lovely thing? Contributed by Mr. James DeLac of Newport. You mean he, he gave it away for the cause of charity? They say this is the most expensive car ever built. A uh, experimental model, of course. Oh, well, is Mr. Delac going to be here tonight? Mr. and Mrs. Delac, oh. Oh, he's married. Yes, dear. Now then, in you go. All right. And here's your change box and your ticket books. Oh, by the way, be sure each name and address mm -hmm. is on the ticket stop. Mm -hmm. The winner will be announced Saturday. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. Uh... Gentlemen, in the name of Sweet Charity, I earnestly hope you win, both of you. Good evening. Good evening. Such a pleasant evening. How many? Well, I'll take one. Splendid. Fill out the stub. All right. Yes? Pardon me. Uh, does Mr. Joe Fitzpatrick live here? Yes, he does, but he isn't here. Oh. Could you tell me where I can contact him? Oh, well, you can't. He left the country this morning. Well, that's too bad. I wanted to give him the prize he won. Prize? Mm-hmm. Well, it's nice to meet you. Won't you come in? Mm -hmm. I'm Mrs. Fitzpatrick. Oh, well, fine. Then I can deliver the prize to you. Yes. If you'll let me have a dollar, please. All right. Now, just a minute. If this is for a year's free trial of an automatic shoe polisher, I don't want it. Come here. Does that look like a shoe polisher? The dollar is for the transfer fee. He won it! He won it! Oh, it's ours! It's ours! Oh, it's the most beautiful car in the world! Oh, it's really mine! Oh, you lovely creature! Oh, it's magic! for beautiful things. I really was. Do you think we'll get the car right away? No red tape or anything? No, it shouldn't be. It doesn't look very strong. Suppose they drop it. <laughs> Couldn't hurt that old wreck of mine. Beautiful car in the world. Yeah. Must belong to some king or somebody, huh? Yeah, at least. Uh, say, haven't I seen this car someplace before? Sergeant Joe Fitzpatrick? Huh? That's what it says. No, you, no, 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 no. You got this all mixed up there, buddy Joe, boy. You got Joe, those it's numbers true. all changed. It's true, it's no, yours. No. Well, what are you talking Joe, about? Joe, that's the prize I wrote you about. You won in the raffle. Okay, yeah, don't you remember the fresh air front? I sold you the ticket. You mean Look. that's where I saw it? Isn't that magnificent? Look at this. <laughs> fellas, you're, oh. fellas, you're gonna get fingerprints all over the back. Oh. Fellas, do you mind? It's yours, Joe. Can you I move? Slower, slower, you're gonna hit something. Slower. Outside of the way it looks and rides. <laughs> it smells expensive. <laughs> oh, I feel so much happier today. That's oh, great. What do you think? Oh, well, I'm just daydreaming about pretty cars and pretty dresses, pretty parties. Do you ever daydream? Oh, yes. Now, now, quit that. I was just shifting gears, that's all. Mm. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's the money for your old car. Oh. $1,100. Oh, I didn't want to give it to you sooner. I didn't want to spoil the surprise. That is for you. Really? It's your wedding present. Mm -hmm. Well, I uh, shouldn't accept it under the circumstances. But you will, huh? <laughs> well, a girl who refused to accept presents usually wind up with nothing. Oh, sure. That's... You know, it wouldn't hurt you to have a goal in life. 
Oh, I have one. Mm -hmm. uh, which reminds me, we're going to spend the night in Granada. Good. Mm -hmm. They say it's one of the most romantic cities in the world. I see. And so what else is new? Mm -hmm. But such a machine, it is not an automobile, it is a work of art. Uh, well, we like it too. What's going on? A carnival? Most happy occasion. The marriage of my son. May I introduce myself? Pablo de Salinas. How do you do? I'm Maggie Fitzpatrick. It is truly a Picasso of automobiles. Do you mind if my guests look? No, go ahead. Go ahead. I understand, senor. Uh, no couch in the bedroom. And, and no sofa? No, no, no sofa. No. It shall be as you wish, senor. Thank you. Excuse me. Excuse me, please. Excuse me. All set. We get the bags, they're right in the back. It's pretty crowded in there. I could only get one room. What's the matter? I don't know yet, but it better not be. That car. What in the world is it? Something altogether new. I must find out. wearing an American Air Force uniform. I can find out from General O'Connor. There can't be two cars like that in the Air Force. Not in the world. Such a beautiful thing, such lines, such... Well, it destroys me. I'm in love. It's an automobile for a change. You know, Antonio, I'm glad I'm not in love with you. I'd hate to compete with an automobile. My dear Marquesa, you need never fear competition from automobiles. They're so much harder to park. There's a dress shop next to the Palace Hotel. Would you drop me off? Please, 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 no. 
officer. Officer, officer, we want to get to the Palace Hotel. Will you help us get out of here? Uh, no, 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 we will go to a dress shop at the Palace. Understand? Oh. Palacio. That's right. Yeah. Now, you mind getting back, folks, please? One way. There's no accidents. There's just some fantastic-looking red car. All right, honey. First class, huh? Motorcycle escort. Joe, I've got a surprise. Well, hold it, please, Maggie. I'm still all shook up from the last one. Oh, now the Marquesa del Rey telephoned and invited us to the bullfights tomorrow. Imagine the Marquesa del Rey. I don't think I know her. Who is she? Who is she? Well, she's famous. I read about her in the papers. She was a European actress, and she married a terribly rich Spanish nobleman. And then he died. And now she's accepted in high society, and she gives these tremendous parties all the time. Now, why would she invite us? We're not in society. Why? Well, what's the difference? Why? She did. And, and you know what? The Antonio Soriano, you remember who he is. Nope. Well, he's the best bullfighter in the world, and he's fighting tomorrow. And before the fights, we're invited to his apartment to watch him get dressed. <laughs> watch him get dressed? Who wants to watch a man get dressed? I do. Well, you never watch me get dressed. What has this Soriana character got that I haven't got? Watching a bullfighter get dressed is a formal ceremony. It's a great honor to be invited. Well, does he start from scratch? You're impossible. Uh... You know, I was just thinking, maybe this Marhuz is, uh... Marquesa. Marquesa could invite us to watch Jane Mansfield getting dressed. Oh. Now, that would be some ceremony. <laughs> That's a push button drive, you understand? Of course. All right, here's the keys. Thank you. Oh, I am. Now that we're friends, may I ask your wife? Oh, yes, by all means. Be my guest. There's a switch. Uh, Marion, you take care of the sergeant. I shall be delighted. It's even more wonderful than I thought. Congratulations again, Senor Fitzpatrick, upon both your possessions. And now I must leave you to face my destiny. Life or death, perhaps. Goodbye. Ah, and don't forget, tomorrow you and the good sergeant will visit my country place. Well, for a man who's supposed to be facing death, he seems awfully certain about tomorrow. Maybe those bulls are fixed. Look at this. It's practically a Shangri-La. Well, drive slow. I need some more sleep. She's come alone. And I suppose you're arranged for it. Truly not. Oh, my little enchantment. You came by yourself. Oh, practically. Oh. Good day, Senor Fitzpatrick. I'm glad to see you. But it is the host who speaks, not the man. I see. Well, it's the guest that thanks you, not the husband. The guest is most welcome. My. Uh, what a lovely estate this is. Here we raise some of the finest bulls in Spain. I know. We saw some of them as we drove up. After lunch, I will introduce you to some of their children. An exquisite thing, this car of yours. It's the talk of Madrid. That car is nothing but grief. Special, custom-made grief. I understand. No. Such a lovely toy. 
It creates jealousy. Jealousy, that's a fine tribute. When people envy me a possession, I know I'm wise to possess it. Soriano, come here. Yes. Will you excuse us, please? Yes. Uh, speaking of possessions, how would you like to possess mine? <laughs> Say this for you, Sergeant. You don't do anything small. Here we are disciplining airmen for selling cigarettes, chocolate, nylons. You come along and sell a custom-built automobile. <laughs>